Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome once again to my channel. As you are aware, Father's Day is right next door. And you will agree with me that there are still some wonderful dads out there who need to be honored, who need to be recognized, who need to be identified and glorified. And so today, guys, I would like to show you one of my signature dishes which you could use on Father's Day. Or if there are any dads out there, maybe you want to try this for the family. So we shall be making some coconut rice. And one of the main ingredients you will need is coconut. This is what your coconut looks like. Usually I take my little piece and I keep hitting on the same spot. When you do that, you will crack open the coconut and you would have this. Now, you have to get the meat out, chop or braid, put in a blender, blend a few times, and then you will squeeze the milk out. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So I've got lots of ingredients here, and you will see what I'm going to do with them as I cook along. Yes, I've also got some prawns which have been cleaned, deveined, and seasoned. You don't need to use the prawns if you're not into shell food. You could use chicken, you could simply use meat, or if you're a vegetarian, you could forget about them and just cook your coconut rice like I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'll do is, I'm going to go onto the fire and put my tomatoes. I like to give it a little bit of coloring i don't like my coconut rice white i like a pinkish color and so i start by frying my tomatoes so come with me so right now i've got my oil which is hot enough i'm going to put in some chopped onion right. i'm gonna keep stirring for a few minutes I think I'm going to add my tomatoes now. So whilst the tomatoes is getting cooked, let me show you how I extracted my coconut milk. So I started doing it and I thought it would be good for me to show you exactly what I do. In my blender guys I have got some grated coconut. I am using freshly grated coconut. So I popped it in and I put some water in the blender and all you do is pulse it. And that's all and then you get a clean tea cloth or a cheese cloth if you've got one and you want to drain it here and you squeeze out the rest of the milk so there you go That's it. I'm just going to put a little bit of water to rinse out what you can find in the blender. Now, this is the second time I'm doing this. There you go. You just want to squeeze out the milk from the grated coconut. It is so easy to do. And in here, you're left with the chaff, right? There you go. That's the chaff. So you want to put this chaff back into the blender, put some oil, and repeat the process. That's why I was telling you that I had done this first, and then this was the second time I was doing it. So you want to put it in your blender twice and squeeze out the milk two times. So there you go, 
easy peasy you don't need to grate the coconut if your blender is strong enough you could simply chop the coconut into bits and then you just blend it but if you have grated your coconut or maybe bought store-bought freshly grated coconut you can just simply put it in your blender pour in some water and blend and squeeze so don't worry i'll be giving you the exact measurement of every item or every ingredient our tomato sauce is cooking nicely and what i'm going to do now i am going to add my boiled meat and some of the stock give it a good clean Let it simmer for a bit and then I'll be adding my other ingredients. So in goes my freshly ground herbs, basil, parsley, celery. I've also got some powdered garlic, white pepper, seasoning granules and a pinch of salt. Oh, the flavor. You should smell it now. Oh my gracious God. It smells so good. Right, there you go. The next thing I'll be adding will be my rice. And of course, the coconut milk will be added soon. At this stage, guys, you want to be tasting the sauce, making sure that everything is the way you want it to be. And you can make any necessary adjustment, adding a little bit more salt or white pepper, whatever you think you may need. Perfect. Once the pot boils, you want to turn the heat down and let it simmer. So guys, here we are. As you can see, the water is so well absorbed. Okay. At this point now, I am going to be adding my vegetables. These are purely optional. And you see the color of the rice? Nice pale pink color. So I'll just add my sweet corn and I'm going to add my rice, oh sorry, my carrots. And then now I am going to give it a little stir. Very carefully, I am just using a spatula the rice is basically ready. I just want it to get really nice and dry at the bottom. Over here, I've got some chopped spring onions and here, half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Once the rice is ready, I am going to pop the two in. And right now, what I'm going to do, I could equally add the prawns now, but I'm going to saute them and I'll put them at the side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of onion. And after that, I could stir it for a few minutes, two minutes or so. And I'm going to add the garlic. And after that, the prawns. Yep, so my prawns were seasoned overnight. You don't need to do it overnight. You could just season it and let them marinate for 15 to 30 minutes. It was seasoned lightly with some salt, some um, white pepper, and 
a pinch of powdered garlic. The last thing you really want to do is overcook your prawns. Prawns of this size, I would say three to four minutes. And another guide is the color. Once it turns pinkish or orange-like, you know they're ready. Watch the color of the tail change as well. Moving over to my rice, which is now cooked, I am going to add the spring onion just to give it some coloring, garnishing. And I am also going to add my grated nutmeg. And I'll stir lightly. Oh, the flavor, guys. And there we go, guys. I think it is time to serve. Our rice is ready and the prawns as well. I'll see you in a bit. Don't go anywhere. I am honoring and recognizing those wonderful dads. So guys, that's it, we've come to the end. Continue to follow me throughout the series. I've got loads of amazing recipes coming your way and I don't want you to miss out. Have you subscribed yet to my channel? If you haven't, here's another chance to do so. And if you have, thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Bye now, love you. Mwah.